often, very often, we're asked to give a s set of steps to show how to knock out the background in Corel Photo Paint. The problem is there is no standard set of steps. It really depends on the photograph. And I'm going to use this project to illustrate how to use Corel Photo Paint's magic wand tool to get rid of the background. I've got one very simple photograph. It should be very straightforward. I've got one very difficult photograph for different reasons. But let's start on the easy one. First, open it up in CorelDRAW is my recommendation. And then click on Edit Bitmap. With a bitmap or photograph selected, Edit Bitmap. That'll run Corel Photo Paint's image editing program. And typically what I do as soon as I get over here is maximize that. So I have as little interference as possible. And I have my photographic object uh, seeing it as large as I can. We're going to use the masking tool and specifically the magic wand mask. And I'm going to click in the upper left hand corner, which is normally what I do. And then we'll continue clicking till we have the background mask and then we can get rid of it. So I'm going to single click up here. Ah, and because this is a professional photograph, a professional photographer knows how to make the object stand out from the background. That's what he does for a living. That's his training. So a single click here, we're almost done. But the real set of steps is go one step at a time and then look for problems. Eliminate the problems and go ahead. And this is these are the techniques I use to look for those problems. I'm going to look at all area of the picture. And, ah, right down here I see one problem. If we want to be real perfect, there's a part of the background that we didn't knock out. I'm going to zoom in on that to be sure you can see what I see. This area right in here. Um, probably be easier just to forget about it. But if we're trying to do this right, and many times you'll find areas that it'll take numerous clicks. So I'm going to go back to my magic wand tool, and then I'm going to go to the additive mode because I want to add to that which is selected here. So we'll click right over that area, and I missed it. There, I got it. Then we'll zoom back out. I'll go to my zoom tool, tell it to show me the whole picture. And we have corrected that one little problem. Are we ready to go? Maybe. But this is my habit. Let me be sure you understand that the area out here, I've got my eraser tool now, and I'm going to make a sweep across there. The area out here is selected. That's the term Corel Photo Paint uses. The reddish orange is mask. Consider that has masking tape over it to protect it. So we have the background selected and the object we really want at this point protected. So here's protected or mask and here's selected or workable. I'm going to undo that. I didn't want that swipe across there, but it's a, that's an important concept to understand. Uh, and we're looking for potential problems. This is the next step I take. I go to my invert mask tool. And now do you see what we've done? We've slipped the two modes different from each other. Now this is workable and this is protector. This is selected. This is protected. We see no problems as we flip back and forth. We see no holes. See nothing that we missed. That looks pretty good. Uh, the next thing I do is go to my mask and overlay mask overlay. I'm going to turn it off. What the mask overlay is, is that reddish orange color that shows what is mask and what is not mask. When that is off, we get the army of ma marching ants. And I flip back and forth. Then I invert that back and forth the two different ways. There, flip it this way. Now what we have selected, this is harder to tell till you get a feel for this, but this is this is protected down here and this is selected. So if I again with my razor, if I sweep across that, we'll see which is protected and which isn't. But now I see uh, a problem here. Uh, when I flip this back the other way, I see, number one, I see a little bubble in here. We don't want that bubble. Furthermore, this 
it has selected a line out here that I don't want. So what I'm going to do is go, maybe let's work on this bubble first. Let's uh, zoom in on that area. Now you see this little aberration in there. So I'm going to go to my mask, mask outline, and remove holes. Ah! That completely eliminated that little aberration but we still have this black line along the left edge selected let's zoom back out and be sure you see that this should not be a part of what we want that tells me that there was a black line along the right edge of that photograph so what I'm going to do to get rid of that is to go to back to my magic wand now I'm going to go to my brush to see if I can just brush this area out and uh, so this part here is mask so I want to go to my minus tool to remove that from the mask area that looks better then we'll flip it back and forth, see if we see any more problems. That looks good. That looks good. I'm basically ready to go. Now I have the area in here selected, this area protected. But I want to take that which is selected, ah, just before I do, I'm going to smooth that out a little bit. So I'm going to go to Mask, Mask Outline, and smooth. Now before I do a zoom in and show you that I see quite a bit of roughness in here that in many cases would not look good. So what I'm going to do is go to mask, mask outline, and smooth that. And about two pixels. I like that. That smooth took the sharp edges off of the outside of that. And let's say we're done with that. I'm going to zoom back out to my full page. And then with the part that I want selected, I'm going to go to Object, Create, and Object, Copy, Selection. Now over in my Object Manager, and do let me say in the in Corel Photo Paint, most experts suggest that you really do not want to run Corel Photo Paint without the object manager. Not nearly as critical and draw, although helpful. Now we see what we have. This is our original photograph. This is the object we just created. I'm going to take the original object and delete that. I press delete from the keyboard and there's my finished part. Uh, I very often then would just click X. If I'm pretty confident that I'm happy with that, I just click X. But what if I miss something? So very often what I do with this selected is just edit and copy. Now I'll jump over to CorelDRAW, still up in memory, and I'll edit and paste. Now if I see something that I missed or don't like, then I still have it set up over there. But in the meantime, I'm going to go to Paste. I'm looking for any problems with that. Looks fine. So maybe I'll just delete that now. Uh, and then I'll go back to Paint and shut it down. And it says, you want to save the changes? Yes. And there I have my finished part over here with the background completely kicked out.